What's up, what's up guys, your boy Silencio, and welcome to another video. On this video, we're going to talk about and showcase a little bit of Asta Swimsuit, which was season 3 in Korea and JP, and now it's season 2-ish in Global. Why they did this? I think they're trying to speed up the characters. Let me zoom this a bit. But they're trying to speed up the characters. It'll be better. Um, I had to release so they could they want to catch up to JP in uh, Korea obviously so uh, I don't know if from now you guys unlock them already I haven't yet because I'm still waiting for the missions to, to unlock the challenges from th for making this video I haven't unlocked them yet all right so let's look at his skills sweep sand swiftly swings the demons dwellers sword dealing damage to an enemy so it's a single target 60% chance to attack after dispelling one buff from an enemy. So he dispelled two. So uh, level it up. And that's like 40%. So it makes it 100. So 60, then it makes it 70, 80, 90. Yeah, 100. Not bad. Removes positive status effect. Ooh. So this is uh, the other one. Crush watermelon. Three turns. Yeah. Skill can be enhanced with the signature. Yep. Forcefully strikes down the demon slayer sword, dealing damage to an enemy. One D was from all allies to self. Wait, transfer. Oh, okay. Removes all D was from self. Skill attack, 40%. Okay. If you max it out. Surfing. Uh surfs waves on the demon slayer sword and swings the sword, dealing damage to an enemy. 80% chance to inflict taunt. So you could do taunt, right? Huh. And 20% chance to inflict taunt on all enemies for two turns. Descend an enemy, descend an enemy chance. Damn, taunt chance is 3%. <laughs> That's fucking low. Combine attack. Per perform a combined attack with your partner dealing damage to an enemy. 50% chance to inflict stun. So that's not that's not bad. 55% chance of stun. And you can do 60, 75, you max it out. That's that's really good. You could use them as however you want. For each taunt, an enemy is afflicted with grants to reduce damage taken. Oh, so he he gets a little you know tanky. But wait, what's his full stats though if he's a little tanky? Uh, at level 100. Okay, stats level 100, 9k. Okay, so he does 81. So he has a, he has a lot of HP. 7, 7k for defense is not bad. Once you start putting their gear and all that good stuff, um, you can increase it, obviously. But this is not bad of a stat, honestly. This is how far I've got mines, 43k. I do have his... um. It's Grimoire and stuff like that. So for me, his attack is 15k. H um 76. Even though it's 91 over there, I have I have mines of 76 and 8,000. 8, He's okay. Uh you know, if I get him to one more, I could I go make him do but I forgot how many did I get him? I forgot how many. I think I got yeah, I think I, I did good on the summoning on season three, I believe he released. Alright, let's go test him out real quick. Let's see. So you guys could see at least how his uh Animation works. All right, so we have this. Let's do the basic attack. And he went around one sword. Uh, let's do this right quick. That's the watermelon. Bam! It sucks that you can't see his full damage. You're always gonna see 99 and 999, whatever the case is. That's something that is. I don't know if it's ever gonna be fixed. This is surfing. So it's a, it, it would have been nice if it was, how can I say this, like an AoE attack. But sadly, it's not. You know, we just have to deal with it I mean, at this point. Uh, I want to know how much damage it would do here, though. Now that would have been nice. Just, just to see how much damage he would do there. But you can't. It's just, it's just, just the way it is. But yeah, um, he's decent. Uh, he could taunt, which the thing about me playing on JP, the translation is always bad, so I didn't know he could taunt. But um, you know, I'll have the link to the website where you can see all everybody's stats. You guys can have an idea uh, what to come, because obviously it's in English now. The characters are out. If you if you pull them, then you can you know see his stat. If you haven't yet, you can decide if you want him. It's free. It's just a little challenging because it's in the challenge side of the event. Which shouldn't be that hard. You, you guys are good players. You guys will be able to do it. Oh, let's go right here. Back. So yeah, 
Reminds me of um I forgot what 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 game was it that had an animation like that for it. But like I said, all their ultimate in this game hasn't been cheap. You gotta admit that. I just wish it was AoE. It makes more sense why right? you, you you're doing a wave. God. But I guess all, mostly all our style is AoE, right? Because the OG one, the main one is is season one is also does he have AoE? I think he does have an AoE attack. And then we have Black Asta, also has an AoE attack. I guess it makes sense, because this one is a single target too, right? Which, I still don't understand why the watermelon and the person has to do anything. But hey, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know down below what you guys think is always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.